speak to the Electoral Commission Chairperson, Justice Simon Biwaka Mamgeni, who is in Arua. And of course, we'd like to find out ahead of tomorrow how prepared we are for the elections. Uh, Justice Biwaka, you're welcome to the program. Thank you, Josephine, and good evening, viewers. Hearing and, and um, what we've actually been able to see is that the police deployment is heavy, and so of course there are questions on whether the election will actually happen tomorrow. Well, first of all, uh, the f the fact that I am here together with the with other commissioners and other members of staff of the electoral commission is an indication that tomorrow elections in Arua municipality as scheduled will take place. So hard that some names have been removed from the ballot. Is this true? Are there any names that have been removed from the ballot? Uh, come again, Josephine? We've heard that some names have been removed from the ballot. Is every name of the 12 that wanted, that stood for this particular position on the ballot papers? Well, all the candidates who are duly nominated are on the ballot paper, and uh, none of them has been disqualified, even that one who is said to be under arrest. He is still going to, his name is on the ballot, and people will still be able to vote for him. Oh, yes. You see, under, under the law, the only a person is, in, is disqualified from contesting as a member of parliament if either he's facing uh, a death penalty or is under death penalty or he has been convicted by the courts of law and uh, sentenced to a term of nine months and above. Okay, so that but being a suspect apply. does not disentitle one. Right, so after, German, after, voted for. after what transpired yesterday, the attacks on the president's car and, of course, the, the killing of uh, Robert Chagulani's driver, the arrests of, of journalists and members of parliament and other people and, and all of that, are we ready to hold this election? Why are we going on with it? Well, first of all, I must say that whatever took place yesterday was very unfortunate, very deplorable and regrettable. It should not have happened in the first place. But that does not mean that the elections that are supposed to take place tomorrow should not take place. Remember, these are 12 candidates. Only one has been arrested. We have 40,000 plus, 40, plus voters in uh, registered voters in our own municipality. So we cannot allow those people to be disenfranchised on account of the conduct of a few people. So are we well equipped for tomorrow? Do we have all the ballots there? Is, is all the equipment that is necessary there? Yes, everything that is required for tomorrow's exercise is already in Arua, and uh, we have already invited the candidates together with their uh, agents and other stakeholders to come and witness the dispatch of the polling kit to the 65 polling stations around the municipality. So At that by 7 o'clock, Voting starts in earnest and closes at 4 p.m., followed by a count of the votes at each polling station. Okay, at what point do we expect these results to be announced? Well, it really depends on uh, how long it will take us to retrieve the results from each polling station and uh, submit them or forward them to the tally center. But we shall do our very best to ensure that we announce the results at the earliest opportunity moment. Okay. What are we doing to ensure that the election is going to be peaceful tomorrow, considering what transpired yesterday, and considering the tensions might still be a bit high with we some people uncomfortable with it all? We are uh, working together with the, the police to ensure that security is available to provide an enabling environment for the law-abiding citizens who are registered voters in our own municipality to go about the exercise of exercising their right in peace. So I want to assure the people of our own municipality that uh, arrangements have been put in place for their safety and to ensure the exercise is free and fair and that we get a credible outcome. Mm -hmm. So people should not be put off by the amount of deployment by security agencies. 
All right, Justice, we're going to just... security is to ensure there is an enabling environment. That is all. Well, just just before I let you go, uh, very quickly, how what are numbers? Uh, what numbers are registered to for tomorrow's vote? Just so we can be able to compare this after the vote tomorrow. The number of registered voters. Yes. There are about forty-six thousand, forty-six thousand eight hundred, okay. and we have for uh, sixty-five polling stations scattered around the municipality. All right. Well, thank you very much, Justice Simon Biakama, for taking the time to speak with us on thank tomorrow's you. preparations. We will continue to thank update uh, our viewers on what is taking place in.